Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Linda Gregg from her book The Sacraments of Desire, published by Grey Wolf Press in 1991. Uh, this poem comes towards the end of the collection and is entitled Silence Singing. It happened when we were over by the trees, in the late evening, when no one was in the fields around, the stillness was like a wall, like a doorway in the wall, silence like the last thing known, the one thing no one wants, the thing everyone leaves. I live in that silence, everything, every noun is surrounded by it. I feel the exact same happiness I felt early, early. I will tell him it is possible to live here, that poverty makes the bountiful real, makes the moon hold still as I have seen it. There is no exile here in this hour, in this kind of landscape. If lightning ruins the fields, if it makes a perfect fire of trees, if the honest man is killed without being allowed prayer beforehand, even so it is true that stones make the water and a joy we can hear. We can still wade into the river and bathe. And that was uh, Silent Singing by Linda Gregg from The Sacraments of Desire, Grey Wolf Press, 1991. <coughs> 1991. Um, if you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of the video for more information about Linda Gregg, as well as information about where to purchase this book. Um, and more information about this series. If you like these videos, please hit the thumbs up button and uh, comment below if you have suggestions or ideas for other videos. Um, and if you really want to support us, consider subscribing to the channel um, and hitting the, the bell icon and that will help keep us more visible, I guess. Basically, it helps the YouTube algorithm recommend this video to others. Um, I'm not making any money on these. I'm just doing this because I like reading poetry and I like discovering and rediscovering uh, the poems in my collection uh, behind me here, as well as learning about other people's work um, when I come across it. So uh, for me, it's just a way of giving back, of, of uh, promoting work that I love and that I feel inspired by. And uh, in some small way, I just hope that this continues to build and allows more people to encounter these poems. Um, so some small way that you can help is basically just share these videos, comment on them, subscribe, these type of things. Um, in general, I hope you're doing well. We uh, continue to tick along and keep producing more videos and uh, always open to other suggestions. If you're a poet with a book out that you would like to have, uh, featured on this series, please let me know. We'll try to figure out a way to get a copy of the book to me. Uh, I prefer to have physical copies of the book. Uh, just It's nice to be able to add something to my collection. It's nice to be able to read directly from the book. Um, but I'm open to other options. If uh, you have a digital copy available, we can try to make that work too. Um, let's see what else I can really say. Other than that, I just hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Uh, I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series. Uh, wishing you all the best this summer. Hopefully you're staying safe, cool, um, hydrated, <laughs> and uh, away from sort of blistering heat and whatever else is out there um, in the world. And uh, doing your best to, uh, to find a way to continue to create and to engage and to, to imagine. And I think that's the best we can do. Um, so one conversation at a time, one creation at a time. Let's just keep moving forward. Uh, until next time, um, all the best. I will keep reading and uh, hopefully you'll keep coming back and listening to these videos. Uh, until next time, uh, stay safe and well and hydrated, I guess. <laughs> and we will see you soon enough with more poetry and more reading. Till then, all the best. Bye.